y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with a, <laughs> I'm looking for my paper, 2019 makeup favorites. These are all going to be products that I discovered this year. And this video is going to be face products. No color. I'll come back in another video and do color and hair. And I hope I'm not too bright. I'm recording this at night and I'm not used to that. So I have my light on and I hope it's not too bright for y'all. But Anyway, I'm gonna jump right into this and I'm gonna start with primers. Okay, I have three primers and the first one I do not have in my possession anymore. I used it up and I didn't replace it because I'm using others that are kind of of the same type and it is the NYX Angel Veil. I would say I use that more than any other primer through this year. And it was just the first blurring primer I think that I ever used. And what I'm looking for in a primer is just make my skin look better than it really does. Before I start with my foundation, I like it to make it look better, and that does. It just blurs stuff out. It makes my skin look better than it actually does. So I love the NYX Angel Veil. Okay, next, I loved the Flower Perfecting Primer. And I'm always shocked how much I love it every time I use it because it appears to just be a clear primer goes on like that. It's not overly luminous. It just makes my skin look better. More perfected and glowy, but not too luminous. It's just a nice radiant glow on my face, and I love it. And the next one is kind of the same thing. I get kind of the same effect with it, and that's the Smashbox Primer Water. This is beautiful. I don't ever spray anything directly on my face because my eyes are real sensitive. So I spray this on. Yeah, you know, I just really saturate my hand good. Rub my hands together and pat it all over my face. Just gives me a beautiful, and it has a nice soft scent. Just gives me a beautiful glow. It makes my skin look more perfected. I don't know how it does that in this clear liquid. This is also supposed to be really good as a, like a finishing spray. Never tried it like that, but I should. It's beautiful as a primer. Okay, next I'm gonna go on to eyelash primers, mascara primers, the Essence Volume Booster. I found this at the drugstore and I never looked further because it's so good. This is as good as anything upper end I've ever tried. It just makes my eyelashes huge in about two coats. So um, I love this. It makes my mascara stay on better, not smudge under my eyes. It makes them nice and long, and I fell in love with this. Then for an eyeshadow primer, the CoverGirl Lid Lock is fantastic. Up until I found this, the Smashbox was my go-to holy grail. This is just as good. If you have an eyeshadow that's not as pigmented, kind of wears off really fast through the day, the CoverGirl Lid Lock will make it go on better and stay on better. Makes my eyeshadow just beautiful. Okay, next, I'm gonna move on to foundations, and you are going to see a theme with my foundations. I love a lot of matte foundations, but I didn't discover them this year. Most of what I discovered this year has been either a skin finish or a radiant finish. I like a medium to full cover, um, and I have normal skin. And I'm going to start with the NARS Sheer Glow. It is like a beautiful, radiant filter on my face. It is, I think they say a medium cover. I thought it was, it's like a medium to full. Very buildable, not too flat, not too luminous. Now, it does not come with a pump. I bought this pump for $6.00 at Sephora or Nordstrom. It is just beautiful, perfecting radiance. Okay, next, I picked up the Guerlain L'Essentiel, and this is more radiant probably than any of my others. They say this kind of has a light to medium cover. When I put this on with my fingers, I get a good cover with this. So I put it on with my fingers, and then I bounce it out with a beauty blender. It's a little more radiant than any of these others, you know, leaning towards luminous. And I really love this, and I have it in the color 02N, and it's pretty perfect. So I love the Guerlain L'Essentiel. If you have wondered if this was going to be too um, radiant, I usually like a matte, and I don't find this too radiant. But I powder over it. You know, I powder some of the radiance down, plenty of cover, and then when I powder lightly over it, 
just the perfect amount of, um, of a radiance with that. Okay, next I picked up and tried the Chanel Ultra Latent. And this, again, is perfecting, medium to full cover. And I wear this in B20. And it's just beautiful and perfecting and wears well. And I always get a good, flawless look with that. It wears all day long all of these okay next the dior forever skin glow this skin glow is beautiful and does not make me look overly oily does not make me look overly matte it's just a beautiful radiant finish very perfecting and in this i ordered one that was too light i got it in 0.5 in that was way too light so i got it a shade too dark in the 1.5 in and i mixed these so i would be somewhere in between these two colors. Okay, and then I found one at the drugstore that is beautiful and stands up with my upper ends, and that is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. It's got a good protection, it's got a good cover, has a beautiful, luminous, or radiant finish. This is lovely and will stand right next to any of my other foundations, but y'all, if I had to pick one of these, I could not. I rotate through these and I'm just as excited about one as the next. You could not go wrong with any of these, y'all. <laughs> they are my babies. Hey, y'all. Okay, I'm coming at you from a different day because I was just editing this video and I left some things out I wanted to tell you. Almost all of these are in beautiful glass, you know, substantial packaging, glass bottles. They also all have pumps except the NARS that I already mentioned doesn't have a pump. And I'm gonna link that down below. It's only $6. But these are all in nice glass bottles with pumps. Just beautiful packaging. Except the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. And I used this this morning, and this is my probably my only foundation in here that is just flat in the middle. It is a medium cover. It's a medium cover, but you can build it. And it's a very radiant. But then I set it down and through the day that radiance will come out. It is beautiful, very nice just to throw on and go run errands because of that SPF. It's a beautiful radiant finish. Um, and I just love this. It wears beautiful through the day. This is really nice. So anyway, wanted to be sure y'all knew those things. Those are in, most of these are in beautiful glass bottles with pumps, um, except the ones in the squeezy tubes. So I will um, get back to the video. Okay, next I'm gonna move on to color correctors. And the first one is MAC, the MAC Studio Finish. And these make covering dark circles so easy. I put this on with a Real Techniques, like a little blending brush. Just brush it right on my dark circles and it just makes them vanish. This is just great. And I think I have enjoyed this most of the year. I love the studio finish. Okay, next I discovered the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away or Magic Vanish. It's so tiny. I cannot see that. I have this in the color Fair Pale. It has a little bit of a peachy tint behind it. And it's, I feel like this is very moisturizing, but doesn't feel heavy just makes dark circles disappear. I don't have this on today. I have the MAC on today, but I love this. And I do feel like this is a little more moisturizing if your under eyes are dry. Okay, next I'm going to move on to concealers. And again, the drugstore just killed it this year. Two out of my three are from the drugstore. I'll start with the Maybelline Superstay. This is my first layer of concealer every single day. It is um, in this little tube. It's soft like that. And then the doe foot looks like that. It's kind of small, but I just put it on my dark circle. And when I first used this, I've said this before, I did not think I was going to like it because the packaging is just not that great on it. And then it just wears and wears. This just does not wear off on me through the day. It wears great, covers great. This is probably if my if I can only keep one. But I also love from the drugstore the e.l.f. camo. Along with the rest of the world, y'all, this really did um, kind of displace my shape tape. And it reminds me of the shape tape because of that fat doe foot. So it just makes it a pleasure to put on. And then it covers great. It wears great. So love the e.l.f. camo. This covers great. Those are both a good full cover. And then for a high end, the Armani Stretch is beautiful, and I don't have anything like this because it's thin, 
This is very thin. It feels very light. And then it, a little bit goes a long way. And it really does. It just goes a long way. I get plenty of cover with this. It's nice and thin. Doesn't feel cakey or heavy. This is beautiful. Okay, and also for concealers, one I don't have anymore, and I really want to replace it, and that is the Urban Decay. I think it's called a corrector, and it's the one in the pink. I loved that so much this year for concealing shadows. Covers great, lightens and brightens a little bit. It is very nice. Okay, next I'm going to move on to some powders I discovered this year. I discovered two setting powders. One for under the eyes and one for all over the face. And the one I use for setting my under eyes, I just use this right over here on this inner corner where there's no lines and not a lot of movement. But the Huda Sugar Cookie, it's beautiful for that. I put this on with a damp beauty blender, like a little, a little cheeky, and I just right here in the corner with this. It gives me a little bit of extra cover. It doesn't cake up. It's a little bit brightening. This is so nice. I already have a backup of that. And then for the face, for setting the Derma Blend, this is just a transparent powder, and I love that because it does not change my foundation. Doesn't change the color, does not change the coverage, it doesn't feel heavy. It's just a good transparent powder and it is beautiful. If you like to stay at the drugstore, this is very close to the RCMA. That comes in the little shaker like this. These are both transparent powders. Very, very close to the same product. So love the um, Derm Blend, love that. Okay, and then I could not have a yearly favorites without the Milani Prep Set and Go. This has been a mainstay for me. I keep it right beside me. And this, again, is a transparent powder. I love to blend eyeshadow with it. I love it on my lid. I love it to finish with. It's got a little bit of a blur to it. I think I will always keep this. It is right beside me. I just use this for a ton of stuff all day long. I love it. Okay, then also for finishing, the NYX HD powder. This is beautiful and blurring and light as dust. The only ingredient in this is mica. It reminds me so much of the By Terry Hyaluronic. The By Terry Hyaluronic has hyaluronic acid in it and mica. This just has mica and it's very blurring. So I've loved the NYX HD powder. It's great. Okay, next for a full cover finishing powder, if I just need a little bit of extra help, my makeup's worn off or did not cover that well, I love this Armani. It's a nice full cover. It can be a foundation or a powder. I just use this when my foundation needs a little extra help. And when I was going to the gym all the time, sometimes I would just use this over the NYX Angel Veil. Beautiful. That is a very nice full cover foundation powder. Okay, and then I have two luminous powders that I discovered this year and fell in love with. And the first one I picked up was the Guerlain Meteorites. And I picked them up in the little beads. And I have these in Claire. The luminosity on this is beautiful. And then it's blurring. Just blurs stuff out. It makes you glow a little bit. Perfects everything. This is so beautiful. I picked it up to carry it in my purse or when I travel in the pressed. And it looks like, it looks like that. These are just beautiful. Just a lot of luminosity and um, a whole lot of blurring. Okay, and then the last um, finishing powder I discovered was this Hourglass Ethereal Light. It's that same Hourglass Magic with just a little bit of luminosity, a real nice blur. And I love this for a lot of things. I love it through the center of my face. I love it to brighten up wherever I want to brighten up. I love it on my brow bone, on my lid. I think Mandy Davis MUA is the one that made me want to buy this, and I love it. And that is all of my favorite makeup products, and I'm going to move on to some brushes that I discovered. And I'll start with, I think this was the whole set of Lisa J face brushes. I think there was three in it. I picked these up to support Lisa J. I use them because I love them. They are some of my best brushes. This big powder brush, just about daily. And this is the 102. It's nice and soft, but kind of dense. And I've used this for months. And it still is just holding up so well. I love that. 
Then this little ball kind of shaped brush is great for bronzer or a smaller powder brush. And this is the 104, love that. And then this one's a little bit um, firmer and kind of denser. It makes a real good buffing brush. And this is number 103. I love all of these BK Beauty brushes. Okay, next, a Morphe brush. And I used this all year long for my bronzer. I keep one of these with my travel makeup and one on my desk. I love it. It's the E3. And I love that point and then how it gets wider. So you can kind of control the placement of that bronzer. And um, yeah, I just love this Morphe E3 brush. It is used and loved every day. Okay, next, I picked up two sets of Sonia G brushes. I love both sets of the Sonia G brushes. I got the red ones and the blue ones, but the brushes I pick up more than any since I got them are the Face Pro, and I love the way that is shaped. It kind of comes to a little point down here, and it's soft, but it's dense. And with that little point, you can really get into the crevices of your face. I just pick this up all the time. And then the next one, this is, I think, called Inashig. I'll put it right here, how you spell that. Comes to a little point and kind of flares out. This reminds me of the Morphe I just showed you, the E3. They remind me very much of each other. But um, this one is a little bit more narrow, maybe. But yeah, I love them both. So if you don't want to spend... On the Sonia G, you might try the Morphe first because I love this. I use this daily, but I'm loving this too for the same reason. A little bit of contour. It goes on really nice um, up by the hairline. It gets in there real good. So if you don't want to spring for the Sonia G, try the Morphe, but I do love the Sonia G. It's just very soft. I think these are made out of goat hair and um, just beautiful beautiful brushes. And that is all of my favorite face makeup for 2019. And in a couple of days, I'm going to come back with color, my favorite color from last year. Y'all let me know down below definitely some things that y'all loved last year. I always want to pick those up and love them with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.